we may have become too familiar with the supari or betel nut stains on walls and roads across india but did you know that the same betel nut could be used for a novel purpose as a natural dye for textiles in the beginning we used synthetic dyes we shifted to natural dyes as we realized that the synthetic ones were not good for the environment or the people rudrappa is the natural dye supervisor at charaka handloom cooperative in rural karnataka Since 2012 the organization has been using natural dyes instead of chemical dyes to create a diverse spectrum of colors. The textile industry's usage of synthetic dyes leads to a substantial production of dye wastewater which when released untreated can have long-term impacts on soil and water bodies posing risks to both human and ecological health. Natural dyes extracted from naturally available materials such as roots, berries and plants are eco-friendly, non-hazardous and sustainable. We use uh, actually six colors, uh, six ingredients natural dyes. The major one is uh, we call Adike Chaguru which is arak nut syrup, betel nut syrup. This is uh, naturally, I mean in surrounding it is grown. And this is the one ma- maximum. Next we use is pomegranate skin. Uh, the used pomegranate skin we will get it dried we will buy it from local market and we just boil it and get it some colors in that two to three colors come from uh, pomegranate skin but major is of course again uh, arachnid syrup we use 5000 liters of choguru every year with 1 liter of choguru concentrate we can dye 3 kg of yarn areka nut syrup locally called adike choguru is a byproduct formed during processing areca nuts to be sold in the market the syrup is usually thrown away as waste after charaka handloom cooperative utilized the syrup's potential as a natural dye farmers now sell it to earn additional income areca nut solution contains lot of tannin in it and the color brown what it gives is itself you know is good enough to fix the color onto the fiber or onto the yarn now the areca nut dye is also being studied for other functions beyond aesthetics we look in into the uv protection we also see into the insect repellency it can be flame retardant that way it can improve the absorbance we are looking into the antimicrobial properties while there do exist challenges in natural dyeing such as a high water requirement limitations in the range of colors it can generate fabrics it can suit and even the scalability rajappa feels that these can be tackled with technological advancements innovation of equipment new equipment we are you know using like enzymes or you know wetting agents and this thing we do the streaming method So when that steaming method, you only need one fourth of the water. 